Hello viewers. Welcome to a new tour guide. Today we will be talking about some basic knowledge about Florida and how to get to Florida. This is the fourth episode. You can watch our first, second, third episodes and check the i button. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, and if you want, you can comment your opinion about this video. So let's go. Some basic knowledge about Florida. English is the official language of the state. However, Spanish is the native language of approximately 20% of Florida residents, and the further south you go, the more Spanish speakers there will be. Spanish is the preferred language in some parts of South Florida in everyday activities. Miami is most notable, where nearly 80% of residents do not speak English as their native language, and 30% do not speak English. Tampa also has a sizable Spanish-speaking population and neighborhoods where it is almost exclusively said. Like anywhere in another language's significant presence, expect Spanish words or expressions used or calc into everyday English. Native-born non-Hispanic Floridians will usually speak with a southern accent. However, after migrating millions of Americans from other states to Florida, the southern dialect is diluted with different accents. How to get in by plane in Florida 1. Orlando International Airport is your choice airport for Disney World and the other attractions in Central Florida. Located south of downtown Orlando, this airport offers tons of car rentals and free shuttles to Disney and Universal for visitors. 2. The biggest airport for South Florida travel, Miami International Airport is the best option for trips to the Everglades or Miami's beaches. The airport is a hub for American Airlines and the most popular entry point with a wide variety of flights from Europe, South America, Central America, the Caribbean, Cuba, and Mexico. 3. Tampa International Airport serves the Gulf Coast, namely the Tampa Bay Area. There are direct flights offered from all over the U.S. and from several international destinations in Canada, Cuba, Europe, Latin America, and the Caribbean. 4. Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport is the fourth largest airport in Florida. It is another valid option with many domestic low fare carriers such as JetBlue, Frontier Airlines, Spirit Airlines, and Southwest Airlines. 5. Jacksonville International Airport is the primary airport for travel in North Florida, serving Amelia Island and historic St. Augustine. Other large airports can be found in Pensacola, Fort Myers, Tallahassee, St. Petersburg Clearwater, West Palm Beach, Sarasota, Key West, Gainesville, Melbourne, and Sanford. Many more airports throughout Florida may get you closer to your destination. Watch for these smaller airports while researching your destination. How to get in by car in Florida. Three interstate highways connect Florida with adjacent states. One. Interstate 95 enters Florida from Georgia just north of Jacksonville and parallels the Atlantic coast, never more than 25 miles inland, until its terminus south of downtown Miami. Interstate 95 provides the most convenient route for people from the East Coast, New England, and eastern parts of Canada. Jacksonville, Daytona Beach, and the Miami-Fort Lauderdale-West Palm Beach area are all serviced by I-95 with access to Orlando provided via Interstate 4. 2. Interstate 75 also enters Florida from Georgia and passes through the state's center until the Tampa Bay area. It follows the Gulf of Mexico coast to Naples, heading east across the Everglades to Fort Lauderdale. Interstate 75 is most convenient for travelers arriving from Atlanta and the Midwest 3. Interstate 10 enters Florida from Alabama near Pensacola and passes through the center of the Panhandle and across North Florida until its terminus in Jacksonville. Interstate 10 is most convenient for travelers from Louisiana, Texas, and areas farther west. 4. Interstate 4 does not cross any state line but is still called an interstate. It crosses the state from Gulf to East Coast passing from Tampa in the west through Orlando and ending at the western boundary of Daytona Beach. It curves to the north on its easternmost segment. The road, particularly on the north side of Orlando, is notoriously dangerous, and the frequent thunderstorms and ongoing road work don't help with this concern. The speeds on this road are high, 
and speed limits are ignored by most, but as a quick route, there are few comparable alternatives, and it does an excellent job of connecting the suburbs. Other major highways entering Florida include, 1. US-1 enters Florida north of Jacksonville and snakes along the east coast between Interstate 95 and the Intracoastal Waterway Atlantic Ocean. Unlike I-95, US-1 continues past Miami and is routed over a series of bridges through the Florida Keys to its terminus at Key West 2. US-231 enters Florida from Alabama and crosses the Panhandle north-south to its southern terminus at Panama City Beach. US-231 provides convenient access to the Panhandle from the Midwest via its connection with Interstate 65 in Montgomery 3. US-98 enters Florida near Pensacola and remains close to the Gulf of Mexico coast until the Panhandle meets the Florida Peninsula at the Big Bend area. Unlike I-10 to the north, which runs through the interior of the Panhandle away from the coast, US-98 provides a scenic drive and convenient access to the beaches. After leaving the Panhandle, US-98 runs diagonally down the peninsula to West Palm Beach through primarily rural areas. 4. US-27 enters Florida from western Georgia and provides access to Tallahassee's state capital before routing through mostly rural peninsula areas. Down the center of the state between Florida's Turnpike and Miami, US-27 is a primary trucking route, and as such, this route can be a hassle while dealing with heavy traffic. 5. US 301 entered Florida just north of Jacksonville and was once the main route from the northeast. It is a very scenic alternative to I-95 with a lot less traffic. Exiting I-95 at Santee, South Carolina, motorists can follow US 301 through Georgia and into Florida and connect to I-95 again in Jacksonville for Atlantic Coast destinations, or continue to join I-75 at Ocala for Tampa and the Gulf Coast. How to get in by bus in Florida. Many bus companies operate services to Florida from neighboring states and the major airports in the state. Services most frequent along the interstates from large cities in neighboring states. See by bus under get around for a list of bus companies serving the state. How to get in by train in Florida. Amtrak has two services to Florida. One. Amtrak Auto Train carries passengers and automobiles between Lorton, Virginia, and Sanford, Florida, effectively serving as a car rail link to Florida from the Washington, D.C. D.C. metro area. This train makes no stops between Lorton and Sanford and is a way to cut back on the extra mileage and wear and tear on the car. 2. Amtrak Silver Service or trains number 91 and 92 and number 97 and 98, respectively are two routes that begin in New York City and end in Miami. The trains follow the same route heading to Florida, except in North and South Carolina. The trains run the same line from Jacksonville to Kissimmee within the state. They split there, and the Silver Star or trains number 91 and 92, diverges to head west towards Lakeland and Tampa while the Silver Meteor or trains number 97 and 98, continue south towards Winter Haven. Both routes meet further south and serve the rest of the stations along Florida's east coast to Miami. How to get in by boat in Florida. Florida is possibly the most prominent state for cruise ship vacations in the United States. Cape Canaveral, Tampa, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale are all popular starting ports for cruises heading throughout the Caribbean. Many short-term casino cruises depart from Pinellas County and around South Florida. Ferry service is also available to and from the Bahamas, between Fort Lauderdale and Freeport, and between Miami and Bimini. This is all about the fourth episode. Thank you for watching this video entirely. You can watch our other tour guides about the USA if you want. Then you can visit our channel. If you like this video, I will repeat it. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.